But should TikTok be banned in the United States? An FCC commissioner says it's the only way to protect the nation from a possible attack by the Chinese government. Former President Donald Trump tried to get TikTok banned before he left office, and now Democrats agree. Jamie Tucker explains. Well, the question of whether TikTok poses a national security risk boils down to the information it gathers and where that information goes. TikTok is owned by a Chinese company. The concern is the Chinese government could use that information to influence the millions of people in the United States who use TikTok every day. To its millions of users, TikTok is just a form of entertainment. But to see that entertainment, you must use the app and give its company ByteDance permission to gather personal information. You have to consider the what if, what are the possibilities? Matt Lawrence, a cyber tech expert with the company Checkpoint, says TikTok claims it doesn't share information with the Chinese government, but many in the U.S. are not convinced. If I was a politician or trying to protect the country, my, my big concern is always, what if? I and mean, I think that's really why this, uh, I would say, this ban is, is resurfacing again. Targeted attacks could push a political agenda on the millions of people who use the app. 26% of Americans under the age of 30 say they get their news from TikTok. If the Chinese government should want to interfere with U.S. politics, the concern is it could easily be done by promoting content to sway users. But what are the chances TikTok will be banned? Lawrence told me that can be tricky. I think at the end of the day, unless it becomes a law that they're not allowed, Apple nor Google would really uh, just eliminate them from their stores. I don't see that happening. A TikTok is trying to convince U.S. government officials that it stores the information outside of China and it never shares that information with China. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.